Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. It's the warm welcome to Guam that left an impression on UOG's 11th president, Dr. Thomas Christ. The former president of Pacific Lutheran University served 22 years in the U.S. Air Force. During his first visit to campus, his plans for the university included increasing the number of veteran students, expanding Chamorro studies, more sustainability science courses, and adding new graduate programs. Now looking forward to continue UOG's mission to serve as a regional leader in Micronesia. I should emphasize that education is a, is a long game. It's, uh, it's excellence takes uh, time and investment of resources and people and expertise and steadiness of support is really, really important. The reading really tells me that, um, that this institution has done tremendous work on issues particularly related to people and to uh, the idea of islands. So this island, very specifically, but also the islands of Micronesia. Though not from Micronesia, he believes his background living in the Virgin Islands lends a hand to understand Guam's unique island culture. Dr. Kreis is eager to work with campus leaders like Vice President Dr. Anita Borja Enriquez, the only local finalist in the top four. She's a very accomplished um, academic administrator and I look forward to working with her. Working through challenges head on, such as the current budget crisis and potential budget shortfall for UOG, with an increase in enrollment from last year's 700 new Tritons to over 900 students in this year's freshman class. Dr. Kreis says finance is a major issue he hopes to address to ensure students' success. One important thing is to make sure that we're getting every possible grant. Every institution has money left on the table, um, and so I think more investment and attention to getting all the kinds of resources that we can is really important. Kreis adds that continuing momentum for current programs, such as the Good to Great initiative, is key. Dr. Underwood is staying on board until August 25th to help President Kreis transition. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Carmen Victoria Cherlahi. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.